Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thurn and Solomon Scott Selections here for Thursday, February 29th. For again, today's play of the day. Quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a loss in hockey with Zach Wierenski over two and a half shots on goal, a minus 130 on bet MGM. Wasn't that close. Uh, Wierenski was flying over regularly for the last couple of weeks. Had five shot attempts yesterday. None of them on target. Columbus did get 31 shots on goal, so they were aggressive. But Wierenski was not involved, and we picked up a loss. So look for a winner here on Thursday. But before we get into the actual play, do you want to take care of some housekeeping? I want to remind everybody to check out the Winners Winners website. They can pick some more experts. Use promo code HQQYYFR25 to get 25% off. If you can't remember that code, that's fine. It's also in the description. And you also can find an offer for BetMGM in the description. So if you are trying to join a new book and BetMGM's on your radar, join with the link in the description, and you'll get a nice sign-up bonus when you make your new account. Also a reminder, whether you are new or old to the show, hit the like button if you are new, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified and you'll never miss an episode. And for the actual play, you want to pivot back to basketball and look at a matchup between the Hawks and the Nets taking place at around 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, I'm going to go with a team total. I'm going to take the Nets team total under 112.5 at minus 115 on BetMGM. Time recording of 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Covering is why we're going to take the team total under here for the Nets. First reason, recently they've been awful offensively, as the Nets have scored less than 112 points in nine of their last 10 games. And they also had a coaching switch midway through that span. In the four games with Kevin Olley as the head coach, the Nets are averaging just 92.8 points per game, and they rank dead last in offensive rating. So the offense has gotten worse ever since Ali uh, took over as the head coach. Plus, the Hawks recently have been playing without Trey Young, and defensively, they've been really good with Trey out of the lineup. In the two games without Trey, the Hawks are allowing 94.5 points per game, and they rank number one in the league in defensive efficiency. So the point is, the Hawks defensively have been really night and day. Uh, with Trey in and out of the lineup. And I do think that this Hawks defense can look sharp once again against arguably the worst offense in the league on a Thursday. Plus, we know the Hawks this season have played at a very fast pace, mostly with Trey, as the Hawks rank third in the league in pace. However, in the two games without Trey recently, they rank ninth. They have been playing a bit slower, and the Nets in the last 10 games rank 25th in pace. There's a reason why this overall total has dipped quite heavily. It's because the Nets can't really score. The Hawks offensively might be a little bit hit or miss without Trey, but defensively, they've been fantastic. So I do think the Nets offense is going to struggle, especially when you factor in the lack of firepower this team has. They have two main offensive options. They have Bridges and Thomas. Those are the only two players averaging north of 20 points per game. The problem is Cam Thomas, 20.9 uh, 20 points per game, is out for this game. So the Nets really have no offensive options. Bridges has been pretty brutal recently, but even if he plays well, they really don't have many other options. You have Cam Johnson, I guess. I mean, you're going down the line. Finney Smith's not very good offensively. Uh, you're looking at, for example, Schroeder, I guess. We know Claxton's not exactly a great offensive player. Uh, ben Simmons definitely is not a good offensive player. They just don't have enough scores. And with Thomas being out, that's kind of the cherry on top for this game. But I do think the Nets will probably lose, but I'm going to play it safer. And I am going to go with the team total under. I think the Nets are going to try to slow the pace down because they are really incapable of scoring. And I do expect to see a half-court battle between these teams. So because of that, I see a lower scoring game, which bodes well for the team total under. Well, then once again, here for Thursday, February 29th, it's going to be on the Nets team total under. 112.5 at minus 115 on a bet MGM. Bye, everyone.